time for us to find out what's popping in the state. Live on Alabama Hip Hop Radio on the Shamar TV Morning Show. So, moving right along to what's popping in the state. News Article 1. The Black Panthers of Alabama are coming out with a new film that excavates, I hope I said that correctly, the deep south roots of black power. It says in Lardness County, the road to black power, the acclaimed filmmaking duo of Sam Pollard and Gita G. I don't know, I ain't gonna say his name wrong. <laughs> offer a, a revisited take on the civil rights movement and the origins of the Black Panther Party. Unlike so many accounts of the period's activism, the documentary, which is now streaming on Apple TV and coming soon to Peacock, decenters familiar characters like Martin Luther King to focus on how ordinary black Alabamians join forces with Stokely Carmichael, the young leader of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, to rise and become extraordinary, often militant exemplars of participatory democracy. Man, that sound like a lot. Yeah. Uh, you understood it? <laughs> uh, I respect it. Hey, look, so like, if it ain't a reenactment of a riot, I ain't even trying to participate in it. I'm trying to loot, nigga. I need stuff at the house. Uh, like I said, I, 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 it was trouble reading. <laughs> But salute to the Black Panther Party of Alabama. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. I, yeah. I'm going to tap in, though. I, I watch shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Since I ain't in school and shit, I like to watch, you know what I'm saying, different shit like that. So tapping into, like, history, like, recent history like that, where they can still incorporate certain facts and how things was going, yeah, I definitely tap in. Right, right, right. It ain't even got to be that insane. It can be a documentary for me. I watch that shit. Yeah, so, yeah. Like I said, if you have Apple TV, I'll tap in, and if you got Peacock, just sit back and wait, because it's coming on out too. Hey. Shout out to the Black Panther Party. Hey. Uh, and next, we have... Uh, give me a second while I load. Would y'all be a part of the Black Panther uh, Party? Yeah. If y'all had a chance. Yeah. They were fresh as fuck. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were. <laughs> they, they I were love the little turtleneck, gold chain, New Jack City type look. I mean, well, that's what New Jack City stole they look from. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you yeah. feel me? Yeah, with the fro. Yeah. yeah. I just do it for the fashion. Man. For real. But I, I and I'll shoot a couple. Yeah, yeah, I want to hold the AK. I yeah. mean, we do that now, nice, so she might as well do it for a cause. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't think we can get in trouble for a cause. Yeah, no, you're going to get in trouble. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. You, you're I still have, a nigga. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you are the nigga. Like when you with the Black Panther for yeah. the party, right? Mm -hmm. they, I have to quit probably quit my job. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they yeah. gonna find a way to get you fired, find a way to make sure you yeah. you know. If you join the KKK you're fine. But the Black Panther Party, nah. Mm. Mm. I'll be applying for Dollar General soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to a nigga you. But uh, <laughs> uh okay. All right. And then our next topic. It says Birmingham native. And reparations now. I already love that woman already. Author Ashley M. Jones, named poet L A U R E A T E of Alabama. It says <laughs> Birmingham Nato. Ashley M. Jones was recent, recently named poet L A U R E A T E of Alabama. The youngest and first black person to hold the position created 91 years ago. It's and Laureate. Laureate. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. I had to go back and uh, listen to the pronunciation. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's going to come up again. That's a fact <laughs> that I sat here and heard it. <laughs> okay. okay, hopefully as poet Laureate. Thank you. I can shine some light on the work that is being done that is positive and just remind people that the South is still part of the U.S., Jones said. Jones gets edited Poetry Magazine earlier this year after the magazine and its publisher were challenged to do more to support poets from marginalized populations <laughs> and support Black Lives Matters protests. So, big shout out to Miss Ashley M. Jones. Fight for our reparations. Please. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. reparations now. Yeah, yeah. Poems is cool. Reparations is better. <laughs> <laughs> We already got my answer. Yeah. We, we, we need the money now. Yeah. 
Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna tap in though. You know. Yeah, that's the most deal. Cause you know, I, I like I like women with hobbies anyway, especially like you know dealing with the art. So I'm, I'm gonna tap in. Any woman that can give me some money, <laughs> I'm down for it. You, you feel me? You sound like a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Gotta get that money. Mm -hmm. I got kids, man. For real, man. We all got kids. If they were to give out reparations, how much y'all think they'll they'll give out? How much funding do you think they would need to give out trillions or perhaps even more? I'm gonna be real. Everybody don't. I don't know if they deserve money. (laughs) Yeah. Every every nigga don't need money. Uh. It need to be a stipulation on that because it's going to be some... Some ignorant that It's going to be some ignorant. So what requirements you think a person need to have to get reparations? Besides I'm, being black. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like that's 90% right now. First of all, psychological test. Mm. But yeah. you know, I feel like them is the ones who need it the most. The ones who ain't right in the mind. Yeah, but then when you get the ones that get, go buy AKs, just I'm, I'm gonna definitely be one of them. Yeah. I'm definitely for the cash out on the AR or something. I'm gonna buy a light machine gun. The fuck you talking about? The Call of Duty style. That one gonna have a box. Someone gonna build an arena for Call of Duty. Yes. And I'm gonna be that person. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna have everybody kids up and down like today is the day we can take it out on our children. Okay. But uh, yeah, I don't think. I, I really want land more than anything. Of course, I want money, but I want my own land. Land gonna get you a long way. I feel that. Where do you think they would get the land from? You think it would be like anywhere in the U.S.? I don't think it's that much land to give to like anywhere so in the many, south, like the whole south. Yeah. I like where you're going with this. The whole south. You can pick whatever land. It's That's what be, slavery was. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot Hard. of hoard. A lot of niggas in Texas. It's going to be a lot of niggas building in Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the racism. Yeah. <laughs> they, they ain't stopped segregation to what? In the early 2000s? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they still got sundown towns. See? And people don't even know what sundown towns are. Uh, Let yeah. the people know what sundown towns are. All right, check this out. Because I didn't know. A sundown town for you niggers. It's a town that you cannot go to when the sun goes down. Mm. If you go there, you will possibly face bodily harm. Mm. Like, mm. them white folks don't like your kind after a certain time. Yeah, after 6 p.m. <laughs> Shit, right now, 4 p.m. You know, it get dark at like 4 or 1 p.m. Right. Yeah. Check this out. It's a, it's a couple bars and buildings like that down here in Mobile. Mm. Yeah. That's just, they'll kind of whisper to you, hey, this ain't the fun you're looking for, my boy. And you be like, all right, I'm finna go hit the door. Uh, I know somebody it personally happened to. So. Man, that's right. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That is, it's still like that. But yeah. you know, you gotta think about where we at. We in Alabama. Too. Yeah, we in the South. We, we, we in the heart, the heart of Dixon. What you say? Kind City. Know how bad I get when I pay by a cotton field in the end. Man. <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was young and I saw a cotton field, it was just like, I don't know. It was, it just didn't feel right. It it's not that. It don't feel right. It's the ma- it's the fact that the matter is, I have curiosity to go touch raw, unprocessed <laughs> cotton. But I know my you ancestors. Cut goddamn right, up. right. <laughs> and I know my ancestors be rolling in the grave, and I'm probably gonna get five lashes by them for that in my dreams because <laughs> of curiosity. And don't feel bad. I actually took cotton as a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just, I couldn't resist. The, the inner me had to, I ain't going to say tap into my roots, but, you know. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you was just curious. You was just yeah. like, damn, we was getting beat over this. This, this is a little piece of cotton. And as soon as you go pick it, you be like, damn, did I just pick cotton? Like, yeah, you're yeah. Point, <laughs> just going to run through your body, and you like, mm. my mama ain't raised me this way. Hey, oh, no. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, ah, 
I'll take it right on and talk your talk. Hey.